everybody. Welcome back to The Hobby Musician. You're joining us today as we work our way through a mini series where we are building our very own pickups from scratch. Now, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, click the link at the top and that'll take you to a playlist where you can see everything we've done in order. Now, the project for today is wax potting. And if you kind of look for that phrase on the forums and blog posts on custom pickup building, you're going to see that wax potting kind of accomplishes two main goals. Number one, when we go through this process and we kind of dip our pickups into the, the wax mixture that we're going to make, one of the primary benefits of doing that is structural stability. Having that liquid wax work its way through all of the copper wire and into the little voids and pockets on the inside of these wines can then allow it when you pull the pickups out and the wax hardens, it's a very gentle way of adding some solid that can just help hold the pickup together. Number two, by going through this process, well, you gotta remember pickups work on electromagnetic signals. And you have conductive materials like metal wires, magnets, those kinds of things. But wax is very non-conductive. So the second major reason why people would be interested in wax potting their pickups is that you can also introduce wax to kind of help reduce unwanted signals interference from lights or power cables or things like that, those signals can sometimes work themselves into pickups and wax potting has been shown to kind of help in that area as well. Now the overview of this process is fairly simple. We are going to melt wax in this little kind of um, pot that I had, a little sauce pot that's past its prime, so now it's a project uh, sauce pot. And we're gonna melt two kinds of wax. You can kind of see it's a very popular mixture. If you look online, when people are wax potting pickups, usually the mixture that they get is they get beeswax, which I have here um, in about a 20% mixture, and they have straight up paraffin wax, which I have over here, as 80% of that mixture. Now, if you want to try this at home and you want to get these exact kind of waxes, I'll go ahead and put some affiliate links down below the video, and you can check out these exact things that we're using today. Now, after we get the right mixture into our sauce pot, we're just gonna melt it down and we're gonna melt it to exactly 150 degrees Fahrenheit. That just seems to be the, the correct temperature that it's just liquid enough to work its way in, but not so liquid that when you pull it out, it all dribbles back out. So we're gonna take our pickups, our two pickups, neck and bridge, and we're gonna take our wax mixture. We're gonna get this all set up in the kitchen. So the next time you see me, we're gonna have some molten wax in this pot and we're gonna get ready to dip our pickups. So hang tight and I'll be back in just a sec. All right, everybody, we're all set up here in the kitchen. And just like we were saying a second ago, um, I've got my 80-20 mixture of wax already melted here. And you can kind of see in our live wax cam going on. And the way I did it is pretty simple. You could just grab any unit of measurement you want. I grabbed a tablespoon, and then I did eight scoops of paraffin wax and two scoops of beeswax, and I looked at it, and I asked if I had enough. If it was enough or not enough, I could add more, take some out, um, and that's an easy way to get the mixture. The other thing you'll see is I keep checking it with um, a thermometer here. So we said earlier that we wanted around 150, and that's an easy way to check it, but you can use a candy thermometer or whatever you might have um, at your house. And then the last things that we have are the pickups themselves. So we've got it at the right temperature, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set these pickups in here sideways. And the reason I wanna do that is because that's gonna help me better see, and you can see that when it gets down in there. Um, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna set them sideways. I'm going to set them flat like that because I noticed I didn't quite have enough wax to have them sitting sideways. And as you can see kind of in the close-up cam here, I'll just turn them a little bit like that, you're going to see bubbles coming up. And the reason that we want to let these sit in here, and we're going to put a timer on for maybe 15 minutes or so, you're going to want to let these sit in here for 15 minutes to let that wax work in. And as the wax works in, the air bubbles will work out. 
So we're gonna go, um, and you're gonna see those bubbles go. I'll switch over to a time lapse now, and then when we're done, we're just gonna pull them out. I've got a, a plate with a paper towel over here, and once they've sat for their 15 minutes, I'm just gonna pull out, let the excess wax drip off, and set them over here on the plate to fully dry. So that's kind of it for now. I'll keep checking it every once in a while. You might see a, a red dot go in there. I just wanna make sure that I've still got it at the right temperature and um, enjoy the time lapse and I'll see you back upstairs in the studio when all of this is done. done. Our 15 minutes has elapsed. As you can see in that time lapse, every few minutes or so, I'd kind of shake them a little bit to help encourage some more bubbles to come out. But after the time was over, there weren't any more bubbles coming out. So I just kind of reached in and uh, by the wires, I kind of pulled them out and gently shook off some of the excess wax and then laid them here on this plate to fully dry and fully cool down. And sure, you can see in, as far as cleanup goes, there's gonna be a thin coating of wax kind of all over the outside, but that's okay. If you wanna wait till they're fully cool, you can come back with a plastic knife or something uh, you know, relatively soft, but you can kind of scrape off any of that extra wax. Or to be perfectly honest, I may not do that at all because these just ultimately get inserted into the protective outer housing. So this is all gonna be encapsulated anyway. But at the end of the day, I hope you can see that wax potting your own pickups is a relatively easy process. And as long as you got the right waxes and a little bit of patience, you can do this too. I wanna thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of today. And until next time, as always, play on my friends, play on.